Two guys were walking down the street when they were confronted by a mugger who demanded all their money. They both grudgingly took out their wallet, and while they were taking out their cash, one turned to the other and said, hey, here's that 20 bucks that I owe you. There, now don't you feel better? A study from Loma Linda University in Southern California said that you should. In fact, they found that laughter is more than just fun, it's important to your health. Other benefits from laughing are things such as it reduces the stress hormones, it increases your immunity response, it causes your body to secrete endorphins that do away with, with some of your pain. It decreases blood pressure and even decreases blood sugar in some diabetics. I went to a psychiatrist and he says, hey, you're crazy. I was insulted and I asked him for a second opinion. He said, okay, you're ugly too. Doesn't that decrease your blood pressure? Laughter is exercise to your heart and diaphragm. It actually increases our ability to utilize oxygen. It's almost like internal jogging, it's been said. Additionally, unlike medication that tries to do some of the same things, it has no negative side effects unless you're embarrassed by a snort now and then. Did you hear the one, I know these two Siamese twins, they moved to England so the other one could drive? An article in the New England Journal of, of Medicine estimated that 85% of the illness that we suffer from is curable by the body's own healing system. It noted that uh, positive emotions, including laughing, increase the body's healing uh, system dramatically. Conversely, negative emotions, such as sadness, hate, anxiety, and even depression, decrease our immunity response. Uh, when we find that we're in an unpleasant situation, we should ask ourselves, is it really that bad? Is it worth getting that upset? Is it that important? If we find ourselves in a place where it's not appropriate to laugh out loud, just know this, that a smile is a silent mini laugh. Hey, I know a guy who called the Home Shopping Network, and when they said, can I help you, he said, no, I'm just looking. Do you feel your muscles relaxing? A research study at Johns Hopkins University found that humor in the classroom actually increased test scores. They noted that it increased attention, alertness, memory, and even creativity. If I'd have known that, I'd have chuckled my way all the way through physics class in college. Do you understand the ramifications of this? Dr. Bernie Siegel says that the simple truth is that people who are happy generally don't get sick. Josh Billings quipped, there ain't much fun in medicine, but there's a heck of a lot of medicine and fun. In familiar terms, laughing really is the best medicine. So socially speaking, Nobody wants to be around a Debbie Downer. For health and for your relationships, uh, be positive and have a, a smile. It is contagious. If we all laughed like we did when we were children, we would have less fighting, less arguments, less divorce, less ro road rage, and it's really hard to have a war while you're giggling. So take this advice. Watch funny movies, associate with fun people, play with children, crack a joke, play games, and don't take yourself too seriously, and grin.